All right, we've got our uh, transparencies cut out. I've got the red light on. We're gonna pull out our film. Here's the part that always makes me nervous. I'm going to cut out a piece big enough for, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to make two stencils, so I'm going to do these this way. You want enough room to be able to tape the stencils on the knife, but not so much that, uh, not so big that you're taping it so far away it's sliding around. Get this film back in here. All right, this stuff I just store. I fold it over, I tape it, and then I just store it in a old phone book kind of thing. So we've got this will be two stencils, but right now I'm going to try to make both of these at once. If you get too far away from the center of the light, on the developer light, uh, that the kind of sideways light can wash out underneath. So what I'll do is just lay these out like this. I don't know if you can see that. This is just a little tray. All right, that'll go in there like that. Oh, my bad. Getting distracted here. This keeps everything nice and flat. I'll make sure you try to keep those in the center. That's good. I usually go two minutes on the exposure. I'll pause this so we're not sitting here for two minutes. All right, we're back. Uh, then it's turn the light off, let it set for a minute. So what I've got is the Mark 440 stencil maker, um, I've got a tub of developer, and I've got hot and cold water, and we'll see what that stuff's for. Um, it's a pretty easy process. The nice thing is you can make whatever you want. You can do uh, any kind of, anything you can pretty much put on transparency paper, you can put on a, a stencil. So it's time consuming and you can't make full sheets with this maker, but you can make them whatever size you want, use different thickness steels. Um, you don't have to use one kind of stencil for everything. Exciting stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I like having this option, though. Um, I like being able to do the little oddball custom stuff. So, Ron and Don, I think, are the owners of the uh, Twin Cowbells. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see how we can do it here. All right. So, let's go ahead and take the tray out. I'm still filming. Yep. Take this glass off. We can lose our stencils. Or our transparencies, rather. Now, the pain in the ass about this whole process is the freaking... There's a film on here that is... It's really thin mylar. Every once in a while, you can nail it like that. At least on one side. Just got to remove that before it goes in the developer. And buddy, it can be a pain. Boom! Here we go! That mylar will freaking static clean to you. 
Anyway, it's just a tub with a little sponge full of uh, developer. It should set in there for uh, about a minute. I made a little cheat sheet over here that I use. I mean, it's pretty, a pretty basic um, process, but it's nice to have a little cheat sheet to have everything written out so you know what's going on. Because sometimes you don't make it sensual for a few moments. So I'll pause it and we'll run this clock out and I'll be back. All right, our minute's up. We'll set this bugger for two minutes. And that's where it's a two-minute scrub on this. With the developer. We'll let the clock run out on that. All right, we're back. I scrubbed that for two minutes. Stop that guy. Now it's into the hot water. And then a cold. And then we go back in the developer for another session, what we just did. Just the one minute soak and then two minute scrub. You can see now... I don't know if you can, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it. I can see the stencil through there, and I could feel it. What this paper is, this stencil paper is, it's film paper with like a a really fine screen in the middle. So what the uh, what the bulb exposes on the uh, on the film is what you scrub out. So what'll happen is you'll end up with a Kind of a rubbery piece of uh, film paper here, but it'll have your stencil. There you can kind of see it. And that is just like, it's almost like it feels like a screen. It's not eaten all the way through. There's a little screen left there. All right, so we got that soaked off. We'll pat it dry over here real quick. We look pretty good, but I'm going to do another another uh, soak just because especially on tiny on small stencils with a lot of fine print it helps to do too so we'll pause this and we'll come back when that clock runs out all right so now we're going to run with another two minute scrub And it's just soft. You know, you don't want to be real rough with it, but you don't have to be too delicate. You just want to get that film out of there. So I'll pause this, and we'll be back in two minutes. All right, we're back. We scrubbed this for two minutes. Now we're going to go in the water. Hot water first to kind of rinse off all that developer. Oop, make a mess there. That's all right. We'll clean. And then we'll take it over to the cold water. Finish it off there. Stiffen everything up. And what I do to dry these, um, if you just let them set out, they'll kind of curl up. So I'll stick them in a phone book or any kind of book, just a magazine, just to let them dry and flatten out. Let's see if you can see what we got going on here. I've got this on the red light, so I guess I can switch that off. We can we can see a lot better. We're all developed our uh, films put away. There we go. I got a weird filter on just because that red light's kind of a pain in the ass. So there is DJL one of two, 
an RHL one of two, and that's for those two cowbells up there, for the twin brothers. Uh, Ron, I hope this kind of explains things. It's not the most exciting process, but it just shows you what's involved, and it might help somebody that's thinking about getting a stencil maker. So that's cool. I like to be able to do that. Um, we can whip up stencils pretty quick. It's not too bad. So that's all I got. If you guys have any questions, of course, about anything, just ask on the forum or wherever and comments or whatever. And uh, uh, I will help with whatever I can. And this is just the way I do it. Um, I learned from, uh, oh, shoot, Simple Little Life um, on YouTube. And I do it about the same way he does. We probably have a little bit of differences, but everybody does things different. So there you go. Thank you very much.